What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me for another video. Please try not to mind the uh, super big mess we have going on on the workbench right now. I'm going to clean that up here in a little bit. But as promised in the previous video, something special came today. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what that is. It's for the Z1000 obviously. So try not to mind the messiness of the kid stuff over here in the corner. But there we go guys. Black Widow exhaust. Uh, Slip-on system for the Z1000 just came in today. It's Wednesday. It's like really early in the afternoon. I ordered this on like late Friday on eBay. It was too late for them to ship it. It was already like Saturday morning technically uh, in the UK by the time I ordered it. So it left the UK Monday morning and then it got here in California Wednesday afternoon. It was in Kentucky like sometime yesterday morning. Like insanely fast <laughs> shipping on that so shout out to the ebay seller for getting this out really really fast uh what i'm going to do now is open the garage we'll do a cold start uh with the oem exhaust system i'll let it warm up a little bit and then we'll get some revs just to see you know the sound comparison all that good stuff and then after we do the cold start with the stock system i'll unbox the exhaust let the bike cool off if it needs to and then we'll get into the install so fun fact here i actually <laughs> ran the bike pretty much almost all the way out of fuel at this point <laughs> so it will not do a startup and stay running if it's on its kickstand on the left hand side because all of the fuel is away from the fuel pump at that point so i have to sit on it and hold it upright while we do this So I'll let it warm up for a minute and then we'll get some reds. Alright, so there was the cold start and the revs with the OEM exhaust system. It's pretty uh it's pretty warm right now, so we're just gonna go ahead and unbox this. I have not seen this in person yet. Obviously, it's still sealed. The only thing I've seen is the picture, the product pictures online, and they didn't even show it on the bike or anything really. And the closest thing I've actually heard and seen uh, on videos is probably the Delcovic system. Uh, they're very similar designs, so I already know that it should sound really, really mean once it's on there. Uh, I'm going to unbox this and then I'll get it installed. And then later on, I'm going to have to wait till my wife gets home in a couple hours. I'm actually going to go get some gas, put a couple of gallons in the bike. So that way I don't have any, you know, issues with having to sit on the bike to keep the fuel up to the uh, fuel pump. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this exhaust. All right. Moment of truth right here. Let's get into it. There we go. So looks like we've got our two link pipes right here all wrapped up. I'll leave those alone for now. And then look, oh man, look at that. They actually give you some exhaust assembly paste. So this is good to put uh, between like the clamping areas, uh, especially when there's not a gasket involved. Also in here we got our, you know, basically our buyer's order. And they give you a nice little cool lanyard and some stickers. Black Widow's keeping it, you know, kind of premium on what you get for your money. So here are our exhaust canisters, all nicely boxed up. Looks like I'm going to have to slide it out and remove the two pieces of foam from each side of it. So let me go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you guys what the canister looks like. So inside of the uh, muffler box here, we had the clamp right there. And I just want to show you guys this. Look look at the extra steps they're taking here. This is This is phenomenal, you know, for the price. I just cut away the piece of tape that's holding this together, but you know, like it has an extra like safety net, you know, this, this little like backpack like thing around the muffler as well for extra protection or, you know, ease of movement. Once you take it out, you know, that that's, that's above and beyond. That's an extra step right there that I've never seen before. So taking off the foam on both sides here, you can see the little package that I was talking about. It actually has their logo on it. Like you could, you could wash this, you know, get the little foam bits off of it and actually use these as bags. Like 
I wonder if both of them have a bag. Like, you get two bags with your order. You know, you can shove some stuff in there. All right, guys, so there is the actual muffler canister. It had the exhaust clamp right here, which is going to go to the link pipe right here. That's the point of entry I'm talking about that we're probably going to use some of that exhaust paste on. But there it is. There's our canister. I think that this style is definitely, you know, it, it matches the era of this bike well. Because this is an early 2000s bike. And, you know, these style of mufflers was like basically the popular thing back then. So really nice, really clean muffler. It's got their logo and everything on it. Uh, another nice thing is that these come with the removable baffle. So you are going to have choices to run either with the baffle or without. Like it's nice that they included these. We'll get the exhaust installed and then we'll do some more sound tests. All right, guys. So I just uh, unwrapped one of the link pipes here. And my God. Those are some really pretty welds. Like, they did a really good job on the welds with this. Another really cool thing to note that um, over there with the link pipes was the hardware for the hanger system. They give you these, like, you know, flush mounting style Allen bolts to replace the factory style mount if you want. So you get this with this, like, spacer system that makes it, like, a nice flush Allen head. So compared to the factory one, that's a really nice, you know, another quality finish piece. Alright guys, so there it is. The exhaust is all installed. Both cans. You can see the other one right through there. Um, only issue I ran into was the clamp for the exhaust canister right here, the one that came with it. For whatever reason, uh, I did the right side first and I could not get it to tighten down enough to actually have clamping force on it. I did use the exhaust paste up on these areas for both sides and I don't know man, I just I couldn't get it to clamp down hard enough. So. Easy enough problem to solve, what I did was I used the stock header clamp from the factory exhaust that used to go down here. The ones that, you know, are for the header clamp, the ones that came with the kit worked just fine, no issues there. So these were actually a really good fit for the exhaust canister up here. So I decided to use those on both sides instead of the hardware that came with the Black Widow. And after getting the fitment exactly where I wanted it, I mean, it just came out really good and like I said here's those kind of flush allen bolt mounts with the spacer and everything those look really nice kind of clean up the look looks better than the factory stuff that used to sit there um, you guys heard it in the sound clips I'm probably gonna run it baffle in pretty much all the time except for maybe some spirited riding on the weekends because it is extremely loud without the baffle in and it's still pretty it's still pretty loud with the baffle in. I have no worries that I'm gonna get the uh, you know the volume I want for people to hear me when I'm lane splitting and stuff like that uh, with the baffle in. It's definitely not quiet with the baffle in. It's it's plenty loud and it actually sounds uh, a little more racy uh, with the baffle in. In my opinion, I actually kind of like it. So. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for joining me for another video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And hopefully here in the near future, we're going to get the new helmet camera set up going. And I can give you guys an onboard ride review with the exhaust, with the new suspension tune, and all that good stuff. So stick around, and I'll see you guys in the next video.